Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to do a nice little bait fish pattern. Um, I have a uh, 3 8 ounce uh, jig in the vise. I have some white flat wax 210 denier thread already on here. And uh, we're going to use some schloppen feather, some saddle hackle, some bucktail, and a little bit of flash. So stick around. Let's get to tying. All right, so we're gonna start with our tail. So I have some white schlop in here and we are going to tie. So I have two, I'm holding two pieces here. So we're gonna do two pieces of white schlop in per side. And I do like a long tail, so um, that should be good, I think. Just gonna get that tied in. Let's see. Yeah, that should be good. And work that down. And then tie in my other two pieces that I have here. Measure those up. And tie those in. Give these a snip. And just tie this in a bit tighter now. Cinch this down. All right, so we got that. So next I'm going to tie in two pieces. So this is pretty feather heavy on the tail here. Um, two pieces of gray saddle hackle on each side. And this is more just to break up the color. Um, saddle hackle is a little thinner than the, than the schloppen. So it's more just to, just to add an accent of color and just kind of give that silvery gray sort of um, look that many bait fish have. So we'll tie those in. And then we'll do the same thing for the other side here. And I don't want, as you see here, they don't come quite to the tip of the tail. They come just a little, just cut, stop a little bit short, so. Yep. Looks a bit right. Maybe pull those out a little bit more. Get them even with the other side. There we go, all right. Cinch that back up. All right, so we got our tail tied in. Just gonna snip off these stems here. Looks like I actually, those other stems looks like they actually already under the thread, so that's okay. That doesn't matter. So there we have our tail. Next step is to add the bucktail. All right, so I've just cut off some chunks of white bucktail here. So we're just going to start adding those in. Measure up here a little bit. Um, a little long still, so I'm just going to give those a snip. Maybe a bit shorter than that. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna build it up. Um, see how that is. Yeah, something like that looks looks doable. I think. Yep, yeah, I think that's fine. A couple of loose wraps there. Just kind of spread that around the shank of the hook. And then 
and tighten her down. And then, yeah, I'll just continue building it around around the shank of the hook like that, um, and then building it up up the shank of the hook as well. So, yeah. So again, just trying to make sure I keep the the different pieces more or less the same the same length. got here on the top side to add some to the top side all right so I've gone around uh, the jig a couple times with some white bucktail all the way around now we're gonna add some gray into the mix here just on the sides and we're just gonna trim this up a little bit Give that a bit of a measure here. Something like that. That might even be a little too much, but oh well. It's in there. We'll uh, we'll cover that up a little bit as well with with some white in a little bit. But I kind of just wanted that to be a bit of a continuation there. Um, to go along with the gray. With the gray saddle hackle um yeah and then we'll just add some on the other side here all right so now so i've got the gray on both sides and now i'm going to add a little bit of this um pearl flash on each side um just like oh, i'm going to attach it right here so that'll go back um and then if i do put i'll put some more white bucktail over top of this and so that'll cover some of the flash up but then when the bot when the uh, jig is in the water and the hair is pulsating and that flash will just kind of show through underneath sort of a thing. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. This stuff is super messy and it clings quite a bit, but uh, yeah, we're going to cut a couple of strands of this and put it on. All right, so we have our flash cut here and I'm just going to measure, measure it up. I'll show you on this side. Um, I just want to try to keep it in line with the, with the gray. That looks about right. I'll do it this way, I guess. Yeah, I just want to keep it in line with the gray more or less. And yeah, so not not that it's don't want it to be overpowering. And fold that over. Snip. But yeah. And then we'll do the same for this side over here. Alright, so now I'm just gonna add um some more buck some more white bucktail um on the belly of the jig here. And give that a couple of sort of more loose wraps, and then I'm gonna again sort of work that around with my fingers and try to cover as much as the hook of the hook as I can and uh, so that gray is then just kind of coming in through underneath a little bit all right we'll give that a few reps and then we'll check it from the top side just to see how it looks and uh, probably add a few more wraps on the top side all right and now I'm just adding a little bit of white bucktail to the top here um, a 
little loose wraps again and then just sort of spreading that out working it around make sure I have kind of that full coverage all the way around that that gray is still showing through good enough and uh, yeah then we'll just cinch her down some of those little taggings right, then we'll just flip her around here give it another look yeah wrap this down some more All right and we'll add just a little bit more of gray, a gray on each side here just a bit not I don't want to overdo it um, yeah, and then we're going to get, and then obviously adding some more white. Um, I don't need to show you guys all that because it's just building bucktail up up the shank of the hook. Probably not terribly exciting. Um, yeah, and then we're going to get to the collar and we're going to figure out what we want to do with that. I do have a few ideas, but I'm not sure yet exactly what I'm going to do. All right, so I just have just a little bunch of gray bucktail that I'll add here to each side. Like I said, I don't want it to be too, too, too much. And I'll just kind of squish that down with my finger a bit. Yeah, that should be about good. Tie that in, and then I'll do the same for this side. All right, so I decided I'm going to add just a hit, a little, little bit of red bucktail underneath here um, as a bit of an accent. Don't want that to spread too much. Just want to kind of get it to stay. Make sure that it stays sort of on the on that underside. think that works and we'll just check how our top side here is doing and I'll just show you here a little bit what that red looks like underneath there so just a nice little hit of red and I'll clean up that collar afterwards um, and then we'll add just a bit more white bucktail on the top here and then still not sure if I'm gonna finish off the collar. I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm gonna finish off the collar um, with a Palmer slop and feather or something to that effect. Not sure entirely yet, but I don't know. I can't get that out of my mind. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, something about it just says to me that I shouldn't just leave it with a, just a normal collar. I don't know why. Personal preference, obviously. Um, don't know if it'll matter for catching fish, but Hey, um, Palmer slop and feather might add a little more action to it pulsating and stuff like that, but yeah. Just gonna split the hook there and tie this in. All right, so I'm a little torn here still. Not really sure. I've wrapped the collar. Um, Good and proper and uh yeah still not totally sure if i want to do a palmered feather or not but we're gonna try it and just to see what it looks like and i mean because there's nothing wrong with the way this is either um but we're gonna try we're gonna try we'll just wrap one in here and see and see what we can see if it's uh agreeable to us or not and if it's not then we just take it out but at least we know, no harm, no foul. So I'm just gonna wrap this around. It 
kind of am going with to keep it. Hmm. I think I like it to that point. And then I don't want to do an extra wrap, then I think it gets too much. But I think just like that, I think it also kind of helps to... Uh, it mutes that red a little bit more, which I, which I like. Um, yeah. We're going to keep it, folks. We're keeping it. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you would have kept it or if you would have just gone with just the straight collar like I had. And it also sort of helps to dampen, I think, a little bit of that gray. Um, because we, again, probably a little overpowering from what I maybe should have done, but... Yeah. All right, I'll just give this a few more extra wraps here. And uh, whip finish it, and then, hey, and then we're done. Then we'll, yeah, we'll throw our test tank. But as I've said before, given that my test tank is super small, um, probably won't get the full effect of what this jig will look like um, in the water. Really looking forward to spring, um, and hopefully I'll be able to get some footage for you folks of what these jigs actually look like when they're when they're properly in the water and being fished. But yeah, anyways, I'll give her a whip finish here, and we'll uh, we'll throw it in the test tank, and and we'll get on with our days. All right, we. Got our jig there. Let's see what it looks like. But like I said, hard to, hard to really give it a, a good swimming around here in my small little tank, but I mean, um, I think definitely this thing will have a lot of action um, just swimming it around. That flash underneath there is really nice. And uh, yeah, I think that, that schlopping will really kick in the water um, and yeah but yeah just a good good old bait fish sort of pattern for a swim around um, that red shines through there in the bottom which is nice nice little accent if they're feeding up but uh, yeah just sort of your classic uh, bucktail schlop and mix in a, in a little bait fish pattern with a bit of sparkle to it so yeah I think it'll be I think it'll be a good one. Anyways, folks, thanks for all the new subs and all the old subs who have been watching my videos and for the views. Uh, I very much appreciate the interest. And uh, for all the people who leave a like and leave a comment, I really appreciate that as well. Um, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Take care.